This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chandrea Thomas. In our continuing coverage, a son has been reunited with his father's military awards nearly 20 years after his death. We brought you this story earlier this week. The Pinal County Sheriff's Office was looking for the family of a decorated Vietnam veteran who was killed in 2002. Blas Catan left behind emblems and awards, and as of today, his son, who shares the same name, has them. He says the past couple of days have been overwhelming as he learned about his father's achievements for the first time. He never said nothing. He just said, hey, I was an army. But, so, yeah, it's, it, it's big. <laughs> it's big for our family. And the timing of this is also special for the family because next week would have been Blas Catan's senior's birthday. Well, today a man has been sentenced to 10 years in prison for selling meth at two Tucson malls. The Arizona Attorney General's office says 40-year-old Jesus Gabriel Rodriguez Valenzuela pleaded guilty to all eight charges against him. He supplied three pounds of meth at the Foothills Mall and the Tucson Mall on three separate occasions. That's a total of nearly $8,000 worth of drugs. And a suspicious package discovered at an east, side, an east side Wells Fargo on Tuesday was a commercial explosive. That's according to the Tucson Police Department's bomb squad. They say it appears the package had been at the location for years. And according to TPD, the explosive was safely removed and will be destroyed at a later date. All right, let's check in with Kyler Diggs for a look at the forecast. Kyler. We've got 70s in the forecast for Friday and Saturday. And that comes before a little system cools us off just a little bit for Sunday and then even more so on Monday, a high of only 60 degrees on Monday. Then we warm it up again by the middle of next week as we await yet another weather change to come our way late next week that could bring some valley rain and mountain snow back to the region. And it's going to be pretty warm for the overnight lows for this time of the year going into the weekend, 40s there, and then cooling off into the 30s as we start next week. All right, thank you, Kyler. And for more news and weather updates, head to our website, kgun9.com, and follow us on social media.